Hey guys, welcome back to Clash with Bando. It is quite late at night here, 3.38am. Um, I flew back in from Sydney tonight from our live event. Now I've got the recap here for Aussie Addicts versus Clash United. I did miss the North Awakens War. And that was to do with flying back international and all that kind of stuff. But we got pumped. Five points. CWI, that's quite a big loss. Um, we failed hard at Town Hall 10, especially Town Hall 10 verse 11. Nines weren't overly confident. And, um, yeah, you can see here, um, good war all round. Um, we did well. We had four six-packs on our Town Hall 9s. And that was Dan, Wallace, MV, Dop and Kimmy. And Wallace and Kimmy had the... Um, Fresh hit six pack, that's always a nice one, the fresh hit. That's awesome when you get guys doing that. Now, defence wise, we did quite well. We had a few bases um, that caused a bit of grief, which was nice. Um, at the same time, we've had a couple of bases on the enemies, which caused us grief. So we need to be analysing this in clan. I'm going to be doing an extra video from this war as well, just based on an army, which I'm using a bit myself at the moment. But um, you can see there... On the Town Hall 11s, 4-1-2 for us to clear those. So quite a few attacks on their number one. But then fresh hit, two hits to get that down. Wasn't big percentage, but the big thing here for these guys was they put a lot of pressure on themselves. Unfortunately, pretty much the same as what happened to us last week. The 10s struggled on the 11s and um, didn't make or break the war, uh, but it certainly didn't help them. So it's, it was awesome to come back off such a big loss. You can see there they did have one... 11 v 11 attempt, failed it, um, but then they've only failed one other hit down, and of course, who failed the hit down for us? Good old Bando 80, it's been a while since I've done a Town Hall 11 v um, anything in any of these wars, but um, we had no 10 v 10 threes, our guys did really well at um, coming back from last week, we had some new strats, some dragon hits as well on uh, 10 v 11s, so it was nice, so... Um, yeah, to come off a loss, you know, we also had a live event. Clash United were pretty awesome. They um, allowed us to go a day later than usual and uh, get the war day on the Sunday for us. It would be Saturday in America, of course, Saturday night. So it's still on a weekend for them. Majority of the war was on the weekend for us. Uh, it is school holidays, of course, as well. But, um, yeah, Fresh Town Hall 9 hits. It was 10 to 11, so we were pretty close on that. We used four hit-ups but two hit-downs. And um, Clash United cleared all nine versus nine and just the two hit down, uh, hit ups, I should say, so two opens. Um, so really it was very close on the Town Hall nine level. After last weekend, nine's got sort of outperformed quite poorly um, and they've done well to come back. You know, it's, it's very hard to turn around such a bad loss last week. Um, some interesting stats I saw was for the defence wise, we had six bases take 21 hits, so almost, uh, you know, three and a half hits per base, that's quite large in the scheme of things, that's where they're getting chewed up, and um, Clash United had five bases take 19 hits, that's almost four hits per base, it's not good enough, we, we shouldn't be hitting bases for four, um, and definitely, definitely shouldn't be doing it, especially when you're getting 10 or 11 of the these bases are being fresh hit, you know, so you've only got a few bases soaking them, and this is where you find these big premier clans and these uh, invite clans, they're doing well because they're obviously reading the bases and their re-hits are getting them either on the second or at the very least the last, the third, but you should never be having four or five hits on a base, you know, like, it's just one of these things, off a replay, you should be able to see if it, the attack strat's going to work, if it needs a minor tweak, if it's in the 90s, if it's in the 80s, then obviously the base, you need to think about it, and this is where there's a lot of armies, this one here, you can see it's a cold-blooded, um, uh, cold-blooded Gohog. And what I like about this, uh, Muzzer does this a little bit, is in goes the kill squad. It's not a big kill squad at all. It's got to get the heroes. It's got to get the clan castle. And then you just hog it with a few heals. What I like about this as an opening attack is that if you do miss... I'll just see if I can get my little drawings going up. Ooh, look at that barn. they got a bit of flash. So you can see there's a bomb there. Oops. I need to do that. Bomb down the bottom here. This seems to be a bit of a common thing at the moment with Town Hall 9s is that your bombs are not being used as doubles very often. The new hog change with the hit points meant that... Um, why isn't that working? It meant that you don't kill hogs with them now. So you can see there are four singles. It's becoming a bit of a common strat. So it's nice to have a small kill squad achieve that um, clan castle heroes and then three to four heals into your hogging 
and um, you can eat through those giant bombs. Sometimes you miss them, sometimes you don't even need to um, be healing them. You know, like if you're doing your surgical, um, then it's not that bad. You might have a few hogs lost somewhere, but then you can double back, you can pick it up, clan castle hog, something like that. But uh, we see here another cold-blooded um, go hog, and this is done from Wallace. He had the fresh six-pack, puts down one poison, Unfortunately, being a hound in the clan castle, but I like the poison there because that's going to get both the heroes there. Enemy king, enemy queen, pops the hound, uses a second um, poison. Maybe could have held onto it for possible skeletons and hogs, but you just don't know what there is. So um, you can see there he starts the hogging. One big main force, but uses a few hogs to push the sides. And this is what I was saying with that um, separate of bombs. He didn't need to hog for those. It was only four or five hogs on the side. Um, if they had have completely gone, then it wouldn't have mattered. So a couple of loons, always nice to have a couple of spare loons, but uh, absolutely annihilated this base. Um, great read, a little bit of a weird-ass looking base with that thing up top there, but um, great hit, great war from the old Hellas. Um, it was interesting meeting old Nanda up live. It was it was awesome fun, you know, like it's, we're a bit of a family and um, we, we sort of pride ourselves on being one of the top Aussie clans um, and being competitive at the same time. You know, we're not bullshit. We don't think we're the best clan in the world, but we work hard. You know, we, we've got a good result. Uh, you can see here now, Kiwi Sarge, he's been working on this witch slap raid. They call it the witch slap because you basically, you get your witches, you get your bowlers, you just slap them down on the, um, on the ground and go for it. But based on witches going around the outside, and then a big kill squad going through the middle where it's going to be a golem or two, heroes, bowlers, and um, your spells. So that's the majority of it. Now what's happened is shit's just gone everywhere. Now this looks like a bit of a um, a bit of an anti-witch slap. Now he did miss. Here there was a, a kill zone. He really should have got that. But there was an outside trap there as well. So this is uh, uh, one of the, the latest builds where they're trying to go anti-witch slap because it's quite a big army at the moment. Uh, it's quite popular. People try to build against it. Now, um, because everything's kind of redirected and gone through the guts, um, it's, it's you know, not worked out well for him. But he did miss that um, that kill zone there. He could have tripped that bomb. And you could just see just... It's, it's a reproductive raid, especially with healers, because everything's getting healed up. You're making skeletons. The skeletons are tanking. They're going through. So your heroes, your queen, this has lasted the whole raid without even needing to pop his ability. So great raid, especially when it looked like it was an anti-witch base. Um, done really well there, Kiwi. Let's have a look at next. Where are we going? Number 29. I'm going to show both Kimmy's raids now. He did two different raids. Um... Good old Juddy. We met the real Kimmy. It's actually um, his wife's account and he stole it off her. Uh, it was a bit of a funny meet and greet. And you can see he's gone in with the queen walk with a big hog section to go afterwards. Now, um, this is this is quite a good army. I like it. And again, it's because if you do fail it, it might be because of bomb traps. But it's a strong army where if it's read properly, it's a slight modification and you've got a, a you know, a re-hit straight away. Now, one thing I didn't like about it was the fact that he didn't use any wizards. Now, as soon as you see a, um, a hound come out of the clan castle, you drop one wizard on it to help the queen, and that might save you 10, 15 seconds on your walk. But uh, he hasn't really stressed about it too much, just taking his time and starts going through his hogs. So he's got the three heels, didn't need to use his rage. He actually missed that rage, so he probably could have avoided using that rage altogether, not taking it, just taking a fourth heel and uh, relied on using his ability. The, the difference is, as a fresh hit, you don't know what's in the clan castle. So if it was a baby dragon, CC, then he would need that rage. And he's done well with the analysis here. Uh, held on to his rage right up until the end. There was no need to use it, uh, but then says, right, I'll drop it down for shits and giggles. So uh, great raid there, Kimmy. The big three. Thank you, mother, for the rabbits. Now let's look at the last one. Do, 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 do. Where are we? Number 30. Um, you now he's gone in with the Queen Walk and it's got a kill squad, then converts it into a Lava Lane Tail second phase. So um, starts with his Queen Walk, just the three healers. Now, the reason he's only used the three healers, let's see if we can get the old drawings going again. Shit, look at this. Barno's getting better. Just one point defense. Now, that point defense goes down. And you can see there's no more point defense of shooting him. He's got Splash here. He's got Splash here. Now that point defense starts shooting at him, but it's not going to put too much pressure on him. So he goes into his kill squad, 
That was a really great analysis. I like what's happened there. Puts the poison down on the enemy queen. Fucks up his wall breakers. That's all right. He's going to send out Jimmy, the big level 20 Jimmy. He's going to open the door for him. Had enough golem, had enough heal. I like this. Into the baby, uh, sorry, baby dragon witch CC and um, goes through it. So a good kill squad. It wasn't too heavy. Just needed the one or two. Oh, I think it was just the one golem. But um, you can see with the lava loon now, absolutely smashes it. Still got um, that first lava hound's gone down. But that second lava hound's barely been touched. Did miss the corner Tesla. That was a bit of a foresight miss. Normally what will happen is Kimmy will use archers on the corner. Builder's hut did miss that, um, that the fact that he popped one of those up. And uh, everything sort of tracks across to it. But because he's got so much clean up, uh, he's done a well raid there. Queen's still alive. Bowler's still alive. There was Wizard on the outside. Absolutely smash it. So good six-pack wall, Kimmy. Um, in saying that, um, obviously, yeah, Clash United did have four six-packers as well. So um, really great wall. Proud of my team. Uh, we come off a big loss last week to NA. Um, that put us at a loss last week. And you've got to try and bounce back off these things. You know, like um, just the one failed hit down, the one 11 v 11, that was failed as well. And that's where that one star difference comes about. So um, big call at the time, but they were going for the win. Um, yeah, great work, Aussie Addicts. As always, thanks to support from our support clans in the Aussie Clans Alliance and um, clash on. Yeah, where you from? Who the fuck? I'm a breaking mall. Yeah, where you from? Who the fuck? Motherfucker, I'm a monster in this.